Three million people in Nigeria use illegal drugs, and there's a major connection between drug abuse and crime. One of the most asked for supplies from bandits is drugs. Nigerians have stories of how this crisis has personally impacted them. I saw the effects on drugs among my peers, and while growing up and moving, I saw not just a Nigerian problem, but it's a problem affecting Africa in a whole, and not much people are talking about it. And it's spreading more like a wildfire among my peers due to peer pressure, and you have no one talking about it. To understand the drug abuse epidemic in Nigeria, you'll have to understand that this crisis primarily affects young people. We found that 27% of out-of-school children compared to 10% made use of codeine cough syrups and about 14% uh, made use of tramadol as opposed to about 6.4% of children in school. So again, we can see a much higher vulnerability among certain types of key populations. Policymakers and non-governmental organizations are eager to hear from the youth. They're trying to move away from criminalizing those who use drugs. That's what this conference is about. It's more or less a sensitization forum for Nigerian youth to really wake up and realize that it's time for them to take issues of drug abuse seriously. They need to do that because what's really at stake is their future. They need to do that because the scourge of drug abuse is actually decimating their population. They need to do that because Nigeria belongs to them. Nigeria is a country of youth, and with policymakers eager to speak to young people, it's important to hear the voices of young people and how they see themselves working with policymakers who will impact their lives. But I believe the, if you really want to start helping the younger ones, you have to start from the age of eight. Because um, if you check the award today, children are developing quite fast. And from the age of eight, you start learning a lot of things. And we get to see children that actually um, go, undergo a lot of uh, abuse and some other things because they didn't get the proper training or proper briefing on what and what they're going to encounter in the future. The whole drug uh, Shari didn't just start on the streets. It started from the confines, it started from the sitting rooms of, and living rooms of people. We need, as policymakers, we need to understand this as fact. We need to stop treating you know, the whole idea of drugs as a purely youth idea because this didn't just come from the youth. This were imported from places and they were brought to our country to damage our lives. The more knowledgeable, they are current, so I think policymakers should they should try and put into consideration every idea. There are many reasons why people use drugs. Poverty, family issues, peer pressure, love of money. But one thing is for sure. The youth are waiting for their voices to be heard. Itoro Udafia, Arise News, Abuja.